how to go from this to this in about 30 minutes. You're going to need a few simple tools, such as a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and a towel. So you do know where your towel is, right? First thing you're going to do is remove your power plug, and then you're going to close your laptop and flip it over, and you're going to remove the battery. There's two little tabs on the sides of the battery near the top that you're going to pull to the side, and then you'll slide your battery right out. Put your battery to the side, flip your laptop over, and you're going to open it up. You're going to remove the rubber screw covers. They're he located here, 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 and right over here. Dink. You're going to use your Phillips head T-shaped screwdriver to remove those. It's a really simple thing to do. Put those to the side. Put them on your towel so they don't roll away. Next, you're going to use your flat head screwdriver and gently pry open the case. It's not too difficult to do. Just push your screwdriver into the side of the screen and twist. Should pop right open. This part's a little challenging. Getting the bottom of the case off is a little difficult. Just have to wiggle it a bit and it'll come right out. Once you have it out, put it over the side and then you're going to remove the hinges. There's little screws located on the bottom. Take note of where they're located. You're going to need to remember that for later. Just unscrew those and put them over to the side as well. You're also going to need to remove the webcam cable. It's located at the top right up here. It's a little difficult to remove. Just wiggle it out get it. On the side there's the clamps that hold the screen into place. There's three screws on each side. They're clearly labeled one, two, and three as you see. And just unscrew those and put them to the side. Notice that they're a little bit smaller than the other screws. So they are different and you, it'll be easy to tell which one's which. Just put them to the side, don't let them roll away. Put these parts aside when you're done with them. This is probably the trickiest part. There's usually a piece of tape covering the video cable. You want to remove that first. Then there's little tabs on the sides of the video cable. You're going to push those down while pulling the cable back and it should just slide right out. Once you got the video cable removed, it's just a matter of putting everything back together. Put the laptop screen over to the side. You're not going to need that anymore. Take it over to your local electronics recycling facility. Take your new laptop screen, put it face down. If it's got a cover, you'll be fine. If not, use another towel because you do know where your towel is, right? You're going to take the video cable and you're going to put it back in just how you took it out. Push the little tabs into the screen and onto the little tab holders. You can put the piece of tape back on it if you want. I didn't and it worked fine. Once you have the video cable put back in, you're going to put the sticky part of the cable back on. Stick it into place. Remove the tape holding the screen protector into place, and then you're going to put the brackets onto the side of the screen. Remember, you're going to use the little screws to put them into place. The side of the bracket is clearly labeled as 1, 2, and 3 for where the screws go. And just put them in in the order that it says 1, 2, and 3. One, two, three. Once you do that side, flip the computer around and do it again on the other side. You should be a pro at this by now. One, two, three. Ha, ha, ha. Once you have that in place, just flip the screen back over and there's little black tabs at the top that you can put it back into. You'll see it line right up and then reattach the video cable.
After that, you'll reattach the screen to the hinges, and you'll see up close that's really simple to do, and put it into the L shape. It's very important that the screws go back in these places in particular because you're going to put other screws for the screen cover into the other holes. Putting the screen cover back into place is also really simple. It just snaps right back into place. Once you have everything into place, you can close your screen and test it out. Make sure everything fits snugly. Then screw the cover back into place. Once the screws are put back into place, you can put the rubber covers back over the screws. Once you have the screws and everything put back in, you put the battery back in, reattach your power supply, open your computer, cross your fingers, hope everything works, press the power button, and there it is. And you have just replaced your screen in less than 30 minutes, or in my case, a little more than 30 minutes.